Whew. Let's sit here and enjoy that for a second, right? Hey, everybody, it's social media producer Tom Barnes of the WGM Morning News. The Chicago scene at the shed. Why? Well, they're naming a dolphin, and they need fourth graders' help from CPS to narrow down the top five to the winning name. Also, the shed's opening up next week, Wednesday, I believe. So uh, we're gonna get all that information right now on the Chicago scene with my friend Julian here uh, at the shed. All right. And there's a site that you can get used to once again this Tuesday here at the shed. I'm here with Julian who is with the shed and uh, Backtrack a second about the naming of the dolphin that was born here in August, right? Yes, we had a dolphin calf born here at the aquarium on August 31st, which means she's several years or sorry, several months old at this point <laughs> uh, and is ready for a name. So every time we have a significant birth here at the aquarium, it's an opportunity to engage a group in selecting that name. And this time we're so excited to be partnering with Chicago Public Schools and giving yeah. the 25,000 fourth graders all across the city the opportunity to name this dolphin cat. Yeah, you guys said this is the first time you've worked with CPS. Oh, the stars of the show are getting angry now that I'm not talking, looking at them. Uh, and um, you have five names that have been selected by members of the staff that uh, the, um, the fourth graders will vote on, correct? Yeah, so 2020 was a difficult year and this yeah. dolphin birth was a really a great spot of optimism and excitement in that year. And so the names that were chosen by the animal staff are reflective of that hope and optimism that we hope the calf is going to bring into 2021 and beyond. Right. So things like grace and hope and joy, Ray and harmony. So those are the names that they get to pick from, right? Correct. And how does that work for, if I'm a fourth grader right now watching this, how does that work and how would I be able to vote? Yeah, so voting is actually going on right now. Okay. So all the information was uh, sent out to CPS teachers last week. Voting is open right now until the end of the week. Teachers are collecting votes in their classroom. However, they engage their students to do that, sending their votes to us. Uh, votes will be tallied over the weekend. And then next week, CPS is going to be the first to hear the name that's chosen. That's ex very exciting. And one of the other exciting things that's going on besides what's happening in this pool right now is that you guys are opening up for the first time since uh, last November. Right. Yeah, so we're opening on the 27th mm -hmm. for members and then the 30th for the general public. And you can get your tickets in advance online starting this weekend. Uh, we're hoping to see lots of people coming back to the aquarium to see the calf and other animals. Right, so this space that we're looking at right now that's been kind of sitting dormant for a long while will be filled a little bit with some folks for the first time in a long time, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'll be kind of uh, fun to have people back in the aquarium, right? Absolutely. Um, we've been we've been missing having people uh, and seeing the excitement and joy that they get when they see some of these animals. Is that something that they should probably purchase online ahead of time? Absolutely. Advanced okay. tickets are required, so okay. make sure you get them online. Voting is going on right now. It'll be facilitated by their teachers in the classroom this week, um, and we'll share the results with CPS next week and then with the wider public after that. But it doesn't just end there. We're hoping that the engagement with fourth graders goes beyond this week. So after the voting is over, we're also sending uh, dolphin related activities and resources to the classroom so teachers can extend the excitement and extend the learning all throughout the spring semester. That's awesome. Thank you very much for letting me peek in here before uh, the public gets to come back in here and hang out with the dolphins. It's not often you get to do that on a day where it just gets done snowing outside, right? So um, thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, do you have a favorite for the name? Oh, I can't <laughs> choose. They're all so great. I'm just excited for uh, us to be able to call her by a name. Awesome. Well, again, where were the names real quick again? Uh, we've got Harmony, Harmony. Joy, mm -hmm. Grace, mm -hmm. Ray, uh, and Hope. All right. We'll get voting, everybody. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, there you have it, the Chicago scene here at the Shed Aquarium, and you can be back here on Wednesday. I might have said Tuesday earlier, but it will be Wednesday for the general public. You can go online and reserve your tickets right now. Uh, T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. That's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.